Norway, the land where the night doesn't exist. Imagine looking out your window at three o'clock in the morning and seeing a sky as bright as midday. You're standing on a quiet street. The colorful facades of the houses glow under a golden, almost magical light. Birds are still singing. People stroll calmly by, holding ice cream cones. And a child pedals past on a bike, laughing loudly, as if it were an ordinary afternoon. But here, it's not afternoon. And it's not night either. Here, night simply doesn't exist. This is the phenomenon locals call the midnight sun, a natural mystery that completely transforms our idea of time. And today, we're stepping into this surreal world. We'll discover where it happens, how science explains it, and most intriguingly, what this eternal light does to the human mind. Because living without darkness isn't just living in the light. It's completely changing how we think, feel, and even dream. But before you think this is paradise, consider this. If there's no night, how does the body rest? How does the mind perceive time? And could this constant daylight be as wonderful as it seems, or could it turn into a golden prison? Today, we're diving into an enigma that blends science, culture, and philosophy. And in the end, you'll have to choose, live under the eternal sun or face the endless night. Geographic and scientific context. To understand the midnight sun, we have to travel, not just through space, but into the very tilt of our planet. Picture Earth spinning, tilted at 23.5 degrees. This small lean is what gives us the seasons. And it's also what allows at the far edges of the globe, sunlight to linger for days, weeks, or even months at a time. In Norway, and especially above the Arctic Circle, this tilt keeps the sun from ever dipping below the horizon at the height of summer. The result? From May to July, in places like Tromsø, the city experiences around 76 consecutive days of daylight. And the farther north you go, the more extreme it gets. In Svalbard, a remote archipelago just over 600 miles from the North Pole, the midnight sun can last nearly four whole months. But the opposite is also true. In winter, these regions face the polar night, an equally long stretch when the sun doesn't rise at all. The sky remains in a bluish twilight or sinks into deep darkness for weeks on end. This extreme alternation is nothing like what we know in the tropics, where day and night are balanced. Here, time feels distorted. The clock loses part of its meaning, and human perception steps into unfamiliar territory. And it's not just about light or darkness. It's about how the absence of a traditional cycle changes everything. Plants bloom faster, certain animals shift their behavior, and humans must relearn how to regulate their own bodies. Scientifically, it's simple to explain, but emotionally, it challenges our oldest instincts. Since the dawn of humanity, we've been guided by sunrise and sunset. Take away that rhythm, and you're not just witnessing a natural phenomenon, you're living an experiment in how time shapes who we are. Cultural and historical impact. Living under the midnight sun isn't just about science, it's also about identity. For centuries, the Sami people, the indigenous inhabitants of northern Scandinavia, have lived in harmony with this unusual cycle. Their traditions, clothing, and oral stories carry direct references to the eternal light and the endless night. For them, time isn't measured only in hours, but by the behavior of the light in the sky. In summer, entire villages would celebrate nighttime rituals, which ironically happened in full daylight. Harvest ceremonies, weddings, and community gatherings could take place at two or three in the morning with no need for torches or lamps. Today, towns like Tromsø have turned this heritage into a tourist draw. Midnight football matches, music festivals starting when most of the world is asleep, and even marathons run beneath a sun that never sets. One of the most iconic images is the Midnight Sun Marathon. Runners racing through golden lit streets as the clock strikes 11.58 p.m. But it's not all celebration. In the past, sailors and fishermen had to reset their work and rest schedules, as the ocean always seemed inviting for just one more trip. Without night as a boundary, 
the temptation to keep working often led to physical exhaustion. Interestingly, the local culture developed a certain detachment from the idea of a right time for anything. In many communities, especially in summer, the concepts of morning or night blur. It's not unusual to see children playing outside at dawn or families having dinner well past midnight with no rush at all. This fluid sense of time is both a gift and a challenge. For visitors, it feels magical. For residents, it's a learned skill passed from generation to generation. And perhaps that's the biggest cultural lesson of the midnight sun. When the light never leaves, time stops being a tyrant and becomes a flexible companion. Psychological and biological effects. At first, living under the midnight sun feels like a dream. You wake up energized. It feels like the day will never end and productivity soars. But the human body isn't built to ignore darkness. Our circadian rhythms, the body's natural clock, depend on the alternation of light and shadow to regulate vital functions. Melatonin, the hormone that helps us fall asleep, is only produced properly when the body senses the absence of light. Without natural darkness, the body stays in prolonged alert mode. The result, trouble sleeping, chronic insomnia, and in some cases, a constant state of euphoria. That can lead to burnout. Studies in Norway show a spike in sleep disorders during summer, especially among newcomers. Longtime residents adapt better, but almost all still create artificial routines. Blackout curtains, light filtering glasses, and nightly rituals to trick the brain into believing it's time to rest. And it's not just sleep that changes, mood shifts as well. Some people feel an ongoing sense of joy, like being on a never-ending holiday. Others, however, experience anxiety or irritability from the lack of contrast between day and night. Biologically, it makes sense. Nature designed us for cycles of activity and rest, when that alternation breaks, everything from appetite to memory can be affected. But there's also a fascinating side. Research shows that for some, constant light boosts creativity. Artists, writers, and photographers use the bright nights to create without interruption. It's as if, freed from time's grip, the mind discovers new ways to express itself. The midnight sun is both a gift and a test. It reveals how far humans can adapt and how much we still need darkness to stay balanced. Philosophical reflection. The constant light of the midnight sun is in a way a mirror for humanity. It forces us to confront something we rarely notice, the importance of limits. We live in a world obsessed with productivity, with making every minute count, with stretching the day as far as possible. And here in the Arctic, nature seems to grant exactly that. Unlimited time, endless light, but when this blessing arrives, we realize that maybe we weren't made to live without pauses. Darkness has always carried deep meaning, rest, mystery, the space where dreams take shape. Taking night away is like removing the breath between sentences, the silence between musical notes. Philosophically, the midnight sun reminds us that light is only light because shadow exists. Without contrast, brightness loses its brilliance and time dissolves into an infinite continuum, hard to measure, hard to feel. When there's no night, there's no end of the day, and without endings, there's no sense of closure. For some, that's freedom. For other, disorientation. In Eastern philosophy, there's the idea that too much of anything, even something good, can become a burden. And perhaps that's what the midnight sun teaches us. Absolute abundance can make us value the limited even more. Maybe deep down, we need darkness to remember that light is precious, just as we need silence to hear music or distance to feel longing. The midnight sun is more than a natural phenomenon. It's a lens that magnifies our relationship with time, with light, and with the meaning of living itself. We've seen the science behind it, Earth's tilt, the Arctic circle, the months when the sun refuses to set. We've explored the culture, the celebrations and the habits born from endless daylight. We felt the effects on body and mind and pondered the idea that perhaps we truly need night to be fully human. In the end, the midnight sun is both a gift and a challenge, an invitation to rethink what it really means to have time. So now I ask you, if you could choose, would you live under eternal light 
where every hour feels like a day, or in the night with its silence, stars, and mystery. If this journey through Northern Norway sparked your curiosity, A-Like helps keep this channel bringing you stories filled with science, culture, and philosophy. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter, because next time, we'll explore the opposite of this phenomenon. The polar night, months of absolute darkness when the sun disappears and life must reinvent itself to survive. The midnight sun teaches us that without shadow, there is no light. And the polar night will show us that without light, darkness can also bloom in beauty. Which side would you choose, eternal day or endless night?